welcome people in the last videos what have we seen we tried to start off with the pathology of the nervous system we are looking at the central nervous system pathologies in which we saw the development developmental anomalies just their names actually we have seen infections of the central nervous system we have seen then cerebrovascular diseases we have seen now we are going to miscellaneous diseases of the central nervous system so demyelinating diseases in that there are two types multiple sclerosis multiple sclerosis and perivenous encephalomyelitis okay so demyelinating diseases they have focal or patchy destruction of the myelin sheets in the central nervous system they are accompanied by inflammatory response clinically and pathologically two main types are there multiple sclerosis multiple or disseminated sclerosis and perivenous encephalomyelitis for now just the names okay and then moving on to degenerative diseases of the central nervous system these are disorders of unknown etiology okay unknown etiology unknown pathogenesis so what is happening is there is a progressive loss of the central nervous system neurons and their processes and it is also accompanied by fibrillal fibrillary astrocytosis so there is degeneration and also along with it fibrillary astrocytosis so uh, important examples will be alzheimers and parkinsons <clears throat> okay huntington's if you want you can remember in degenerative diseases actually the table has been given in the textbook degenerative common degenerative diseases if it is affecting the cerebral cortex itself then it is alzheimers if it is affecting basal ganglia and brain stem it is huntington's disease parkinson's disease look at this huntington's parkinson's almost same place only basal ganglia brain stem if it is cerebral cortex it is alzheimer's disease spinal cord and cerebellum there are some diseases and motor neurons some diseases are there so for now for exam you should know only alzheimer's parkinson's etc then you have metabolic diseases in metabolic diseases um, because of some neurochemical disturbances because of some metabolic disorder which could be inherited or acquired so here there could be a hereditary that is in inherited metabolic disorder or acquired metabolic disorder because of this these there will be see there will be some neurochemical disturbances in the central nervous system hereditary metabolic disorders these are genetically determined okay actually uh, in anything there will be disorder of the metabolism of carbohydrate lipid amino acid mineral etc fine and in acquired obviously there will there, after birth they will acquire it here there will be disturbances of the cerebral function due to disease in some other organ system wow okay then coming to uh, nutritional disorders nutritional disorders due to poor socio economic status malnutrition okay there could be even chronic alcoholism defect in absorption okay even if the person is eating defect in absorption def defect in transport of these nutrients metabolism of dietary nutrients such things can lead, lead to nutritional disorders of the central nervous system again there there are a lot of examples if you want you can look at them that's all we wanted to cover in this uh, video next video we should be going into tumors of central nervous system If you are interested you can come back for the next video tumors of central nervous system bye bye